Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to cover all the question interview questions that is sent by the all my subscribers. So for today's session, I have uh, considered Ankita Rajput interview question and Shivanand. So Shivanand has uh, prepared the long list of interview questions that he, he has faced in Capgemini. So I try to cover most of the questions. So let's just start with the first question that is sent by the Ankita. So in one of her interview, uh, she got one SQL query to uh, write. In which suppose we have um, like one table with the data like employee ID, employee name, location, and date. And now we have to fetch the data uh, like in this way. Like if um, that employee ID for the employee ID one name should come and the location should come, but we have to fetch a single record where uh, we have to we have a maximum date. So now if you are thinking you can easily write a query by using the max and the group by function, it won't work. Let me explain you. So first I'm going to uh, explain this interview question. That was a very tricky question. I really, I mean, spent a, a few times to uh, solve this question because earlier I also thought like by using maximum uh, date function and the group by we could easily identify. But what the issue I was facing that time, we are getting all the reports. Now how to resolve this issue and uh, fetch only the three records. I mean, uh, for each employee ID, we have to uh, like fetch a record, only one record. So let's start with this interview question. So for that, I have created one table. Let me show you that table. Yes. So here I have uh, created a uh, test data like with, with the same um, uh, details that is sent by the Ankita like employee ID, employee name, location and date. So for the employee ID one, I have created one row like employee one, location and date that is uh, 22nd March. And for the again, I have created a separate row uh, for the same employee ID, but here the location got changed and also the uh, I have created uh, like one maximum date. Like earlier, I have given 22. Now I have provided 24 March. So now in that case, we have to fetch a record for that employee ID one with the uh, result set like employee ID one, employee name one, and the location should come Chennai. And now we have to consider the maximum date one. So here the uh, out of both the two results, this one is the maximum date. Uh, so the second uh, record having the maximum date, that is 24th March. Now how to write uh, that query? So earlier if you are thinking uh, like by using the max and group by you can uh, find out the easily uh, that record, it won't work. Because by doing this way, uh, as you can see you are getting, I mean all the records. Okay, now what is happening, it is just sorting the record based on the maximum date. Now, how to uh, resolve that issue and how to find out the um, uh, three records only. So for that, I have created one temporary table with the with CT as and same I have selected employee ID, employee name, location and date. Okay, now what we have to do now we have to do like uh, first we have to give the row number. I mean one auto generated number for each record on what basis. Uh, we can easily identify that record. So here I am using the row number function and now I am partitioning the employee name. So here as you could see that we have the same type of employee name uh, for each um, uh, employee ID. Okay, but the only difference is of location. Here the location is Pune, now the uh, second location is Chennai. If we have the same location, uh, in the location column, in that case, that query, uh, that below group by query would definitely work. But now we have a separate value present in the location column. Now we have to partition the uh, that employee name. See, now what I am doing, uh, I am uh, generating a uh, one auto generated number and now partitioning the uh, these two employee name based on the employee name because here the employee name is same employee one employee uh, one okay now what it will do 
now i am uh, ordering the data based on the date one okay now suppose uh, employee one employee uh, one both the columns uh, data would come into the same bucket okay now i am filtering uh, or doing the sorting based on the date one uh, date one so let me first run this query so as you can see here both employee one uh, comes under the same bucket but now what row number is doing it is giving the uh, one auto generated number like for the first record it is giving the uh, row uh, that row number one and the second uh, record it is giving you two because we are partitioning the data based on the employee name okay so for this employee we are categorizing the data and now uh, we have a second record but with the same employee name employee two employee two so again it is giving a number like one or two because uh, both comes under the same bucket okay so by this way we are giving the number and also we are sorting the date so the first record is comes um, is having the maximum date and uh, whatever condition uh, suppose we are we want to fetch the record based on this condition employee id 1 employee name and the chennai and the record which having the maximum date so uh, so the first record uh, fulfill that requirement okay now for the employee to uh, wherever we are getting the first value as 1 it's fulfilling that record okay see employee to bhopal c5 means this one is the maximum date and the third one now we have uh, <coughs> created uh, the data with the uh, maximum date range okay now what we have to do now we have to just simply select the data from the temporary table that we have created but we have to apply the condition where the first value is equal to 1 so wherever the first value is 1 it will pick that data now and to that query <clears throat> now you are seeing only three records we are getting based on the above condition so this one is a tricky question so once you are clear with the row number partition by rank then rank you can easily manipulate with the data okay so this question i have received from ankita and it's already been solved now come to the next interview question um it uh, that is asked by the shivanan so he has prepared a long list so let me explain all one by one most of the topics i already covered in my previous video so that i am not going to explain you i'll just show you the video link okay so first question is like tell me about yourself so for the start with like uh, with your higher education if you have done btech or whatever uh, degree you have just tell um, like uh, i have done btech and i am having 5 years or 10 years of experience and tell you uh, like it is main main skill like if you are expertise in sql or easy testing or the agio just uh, tell them let uh, like i am having experience of around 4 to 5 in etl testing and the relevant experience in agio or whatever um, like tool uh, you know that explain okay now the second question is how data flow in your project so that uh, just take a simple example like you are working currently you are working in any hr domain or any like other project you just tell the flow like first we are getting the data uh, in the type of uh, like any flat file or sometimes we do run etl jobs uh, to get the data from to the uh, source table and after that uh like some of uh, like transformation whatever developers has created they move the data from the source to target now from a testing per se i'll just uh, validate the data from source to target and all the business rules that is uh, defined by the client in the mapping sheet so like this way you can answer this question how uh, how data flow in your project from the source to um, like intermediate intermediate to target like this way you can explain the second question now the comes to the third uh, question uh, what are the stages in your project so say like first uh, we we have a staging area the staging area in your project now after that we have intermediate 
intermediate um, area where we apply the transformation and after that we have a access layer okay access layer is nothing but the uh, like reporting reporting or uh, tool that you are that you had that you are using like cognos bi etc so this is the uh, basic stages that you follow in your project and first you are validating the data in the staging area then you are validating all the transformations and the business will in the intermediate uh, tables and databases and after that uh, you are validating the same data into the reporting uh, whatever reporting tool you are going to use like cognos or power bi or any reporting tool so like this way you can explain this question now this uh, fourth one is uh, what do you do in your landing staging and the data where uh, house layer so that i already covered and now moving to the fifth one what type of lo logic applied in staging area so basically there is uh, no logic applied in the staging area it's like a um, dumping area we are just dumping the data from the uh, uh, source uh, source to the staging one so it's just we are creating a copy into the staging one now this is question uh, do you know about set operators uh, just explain them union union all minus and inter uh, intersect these are the uh, set operators okay now uh, i already covered that topic in one of my video so let me show you where i have explained that topic uh, yeah see uh, if you are getting any question based on the joins you can refer this uh, video i have explained in a, um, all the uh, joins in a join right left all the joins i have explained and also i have explained that um, set operators in one of my video like uh, what what is union union also union is nothing but like when we are come want to what is set operator first so set operator is like uh, when we want to get the data from two or more tables we use set operator but the limitation is that uh, all both the tables should having the same uh, column uh, data type and the column name uh, column data type and the col uh, table structure okay so overcome this uh, limitation we are using um, that uh, join and also i have explained minus and intersect so that you can also go and visit my previous video uh, seventh one is explain join so that i already uh, that shown you like where i have created that video explain join that you can refer now moving to the next question what is difference between um, inner join and intersect so the main difference is like intersect is a set operator that does not result uh, return any duplicate value but uh, in inner join what happens if we have a duplicate uh, data in table that will uh, return the duplicate because as well but intersect uh, intersect operator uh, intersect operator it does not return any duplicate values okay now moving to the next rank and dense rank uh, that i also covered in my one of my videos uh, let me show you rank and dense rank yeah see you in this video you can refer rank function dense rank all the ones i have already covered that topic yeah so this question uh, i'll explain in my next video because for that i have to explain the uh, like um, function that we are using subscria uh, and the char index so that i'll cover in my next video now moving to the next question how to display the last record from the table that for that you can use order by um, order by whatever column now fourth one is how to display the lowest value same order by here also you can use now how to get the even and odd records from the table 
so for that you can use remainder if the remainder of the uh, column equal to 0 it means it will return a uh, that uh, even number if it is uh, not equal to 0 it means it is a, a odd record so that i can show you so suppose this is a table here we have employee id employee number to get the uh, records having the even um, employee id how to get that one so where mod of column uh, emc id equal equal to zero Not equal to divided by 2 equal to 0. Okay, it will give you the even record. If it is not equal to 0, it means this record is of uh, odd one. Okay, so that you can use. Now, the next question is how to display the duplicate record that I also covered in my previous video by using the group by function or with the cd aspiration also we can identify the duplicate records now moving to the next that uh, drop delete truncate all are theoretical now uh, so from the 15 onwards i will cover all the question in my next video okay so let me know uh, all the interview question that you are getting uh, I'll try to cover most of the uh, question in my coming videos. Okay, so for now I have covered till the 14th one. In the next video, I'll cover after 15. So I hope you are uh, you like my this video. In case you want any specific topic to cover, please let me know. Thank you.